Hello, my name is Jerry Garrison, Tabia Law. Let me go ahead and read this real quick. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. I'm going to talk about uh, green cards briefly. Uh, there's two major categories in the body of law, immigration, non-immigrant and immigrant. <clears throat> the green card or the legal permanent resident, the LPR, is in the immigrant category because uh, the intent is to come to this country permanently. The non-immigrant, your intent is to be here temporarily and then go back to your own country. Under the green card um, pathway to, or pathway to the green card would be uh, two major areas. The, the first is family-based. The second is employment-based. The family-based is the most uh, popular and um, you have several categories in the family-based. Um, the, the most popular is the immediate relatives, IR. And here you have the USC, the US citizen, and they can sponsor a spouse, a parent, or a child. And those are your immediate relatives. There is no quota, there is no limit, numerical limit on immediate relatives, uh, family based green cards. So that's why they're popular. That's why you see uh, a lot of, that's why that, that's, that's the most uh, out of uh, any of the areas where you, where you see the highest numbers of folks getting their green cards every year is through the family based immediate relative. Um, after that, you have uh, the different priorities in the family based or preference groups. So you have the F1, F2, F3, F4, and uh, the F1 includes uh, children uh, of a USC that is uh, over 18, but unmarried. If they're married and over 18, uh, then they drop down to the preference, uh, the fourth category, the F4. Um, the, and the idea there, well, let's just say this, once you get into the pr uh, preference categories, the F1 through F4, now you're dealing with the visa bulletin. And now you do have quotas on the amount of people that can get their green cards per year. And once you send in your I-130, you get a priority date and you use that priority date to check the monthly uh, visa bulletin that is um, the USCIS uh, uh, website. And you find out if you're current or not. If you're not current, you got to wait until that uh, date becomes current. And that could be years. Uh, the, the larger countries like China and India and Philippines and Mexico, you can have up to 15 or 20 years wait before they can even submit their uh, application for a green card. So anyways, I didn't have time for employment based. Uh, next time I'll, I'll talk about the employment based, but that's a whole different area of immigration law and, and uh, a pathway to your green card. Thank you so much. Have a great day.